Hi, I'm John Park, and today I'm gonna show you how to build a burrito blaster. This is an air cannon that can shoot any kind of food, bratwurst, hot dogs, even t-shirts and confetti into the stands at the ballpark. Now, you might be familiar with some of its relatives. This is a combustion-powered spud gun right here, and you can launch potatoes, yams, really any kind of starchy tuber at high speeds. Now, over here, I've got a monster of a t-shirt cannon Look at that. This thing has four chambers of air and can shoot a t-shirt into the top of the bleachers at the ballpark. Our design is a bit simpler. It uses three main sections. This is the air reservoir. It gets filled with compressed air. Next section is the solenoid valve and trigger. This is what dumps the air into the final section, the barrel. Now the barrel is a muzzle loader, so we'll put the food down the end here and tamp it in with a stick. Let's go ahead and make it. We're gonna build our blaster from PVC pipe that you can pick up at the hardware store. First, the air reservoir. This is a three inch piece cut to 16 inches in length. That provides enough volume to launch a burrito 50 yards down range. I've also got a two inch piece that I've cut to three feet in length for the barrel. And you can cut this with any saw. I used a back saw to get a nice clean cut. Okay, the rest of these parts you can pick up in the plumbing section of the hardware store. Let's put it together. I've got a cap for the end and a threaded adapter. I'll screw that in and place this onto the air pipe. Now I've got a reducer to bring this down to the size of the valve. A little extra pipe there, another reducer, and this is a threaded adapter that'll allow me to screw on a pipe nipple. And it's important to do this dry fitting before you glue everything together so you know it's gonna work. Here is the solenoid valve. Screw this on here. And now I've got another pipe nipple on there already. Here's a threaded adapter. And finally, the last reducer to bring me to the diameter of my barrel. Okay, it's all put together. Now let's glue it together. To put together PVC pipe, you use a two-step process called solvent welding. First, we'll paint on this primer to prepare the surface. I'll put that on the inside of the fitting and on the outside of the pipe. Next, I'm gonna paint on a liberal amount of cement on the inside of this fitting. And I can now fit them together, give it a quarter turn, and that's gonna form an airtight bond that you can't get apart. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this for the rest of the joints. Solvent welding smells pretty noxious, so do this in a well-ventilated area or outdoors. Now I've got my air reservoir and barrel built. It's time to hook up the valve. This is a solenoid valve used in a sprinkler system. You can pick them up at the hardware store for about $20. Here's how it works. When voltage is applied across the leads, this opens. Remove the voltage, valve closes. To connect it to the system, I'm gonna use my pipe nipples. And to prevent pressure leaks, I'm gonna use pipe thread compound. Now I need a way to fill this tank with compressed air. The way to do that is take the end cap and I've drilled a little hole in there. Let me clamp this into my vise and now I wanna add a tank valve. This is kinda like a bicycle valve only it has threading on the end. So to put threading in that hole, I get to use my favorite tool, the tap wrench. This allows you to put perfect threads into a hole. So I'm gonna line this up carefully Want this to be in straight and get started and then screw it carefully in there until you've got perfect threading. I've threaded the tank valve on using some pipe compound and I've also placed some on the end cap. So I'm gonna tighten this down. There we go. Now, I need a way to shoot this thing. So I've built a trigger circuit using three nine volt batteries in series connected to a safety switch push button, and finally to the solenoid itself. Now, 
here's my favorite part. This is a doomsday switch cover like you see in a missile control room from an old movie. When we flip this up, we can take it out of safe mode, put it into armed, and when I press the fire button, you're going to hear the solenoid switch clicking. Okay? You can get all these parts at an electronics store, and the circuit is available on our website. Now, I'm going to put this box on, and we're going to go see how this thing shoots. For my ammo, I've wrapped a fresh, delicious burrito in aluminum foil. Now it's time to load it. You want to do this before pressurizing, it's safer. I'm going to get it pushed way back there, form a tight seal using this stick. Ugh. Okay, now it's time to pressurize the reservoir. Put on my safety glasses. And you could use a bicycle pump for this, but an air compressor is a lot faster. Now, since this is an off-label use of PVC pipe, you want to keep it under 40 PSI. Okay, that's good. Now I've set up a target at the end of my shop, and I'm going to test it out. So I've gone from safe to armed. Ready, aim, fire! Bullseye! To really put this blaster to the test, we took it to a local football game and shot some hot dogs into the stands at halftime. Here's one more quick tip. PVC pipe can become brittle as it ages or gets cold, so wrap the reservoir in some duct tape. So go ahead and build your own burrito blaster. They're perfect for picnics, ball games, maybe even bridal showers. I'm John Park, and I'll see you next time on The Maker Workshop. Major funding for Make is provided by Geek Squad, 